I started talking to this chap who I thought was Gary Barlow, first of all, because I went on Facebook and his name came up, so I added him. But first of all, I did think it might have been him. There was a picture of him, but he didn't have many friends on there. But he started saying things, and I kept saying to him, are you Gary Barlow, are you Gary Barlow? He said, yes, I am, and if you think I'm not, then get, then don't stop, te stop texting. But I carried on, and he was saying that, I've got rehearsals now, I'll text you later, um, I've, I've, um, I believe in God, my marriage has broke up, um, I've got a lot of music, I'm a very busy person. And then he would come back on, and all I kept questioning is, I'm sure you're not. Gary Barlow, and then I think it was one evening, nine, even nine o'clock at night, he was texting me to about three in the morning, and I said to him, I want the truth now, I don't think you're Gary Barlow, and he kept saying, I am, I said, he said, can I have your WhatsApp number? So I said, you can have my WhatsApp number if you tell me who you are, because he kept saying he had a secret, but he wouldn't tell me the secret because he had to learn to trust me, and the secret was he wasn't Gary, he wasn't Gary Barlow, he come from Nigeria, he was living there, he was poor, he had no money, he had to study and he couldn't feed his family. So he said to me, I've done fraud, so I'm... So I could see his point, but it's wrong what he's done because he intimidated Gary Barlow and how many people are going to be vulnerable? A bit like me, I'm very, very vulnerable and I haven't sent him money, but I have felt guilty because he's poor. He asked me to download something, what would cost for a card, download, um, and they tell me how much it'd be, so I can go and see him, and I can go and see his concerts. But I didn't do it, I said, no, I, I haven't got the money. I'm a little bit nervous now, because he's made a profile off me, and uh, will go on his phone when the phone rings. He's constantly ringing me all the time, and he told me that he loves me, and if I'm happy, he's happy, and he's never met anybody so kind, but I'm a little bit nervous now because he's a little bit stalking and I don't know what to do. And I want to tell other people, please don't add anybody. They're not the real people. It's trying to scam people. And I, I don't want to cry because I'm getting a little bit upset now, but I can see people when they're poor why they're doing that, but I'm worried what would happen to old people who, who would probably be conned out of a lot of money.